Hi everyone and welcome to Windrider Farm. I'm here inside our pepper greenhouse potting up some of our pepper plants because it's still too cold here overnight to be planting out in this greenhouse or outside in the ground. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you what to look for in your pepper plants to determine if it's time to pot them up into larger containers or if you can wait a bit longer. I'd like to show you the type of soil you can use to pot up your peppers and the size container that I like to use. So what I have here are some pepper plants that I purchased at a local nursery. As you can see, they're all at different stages of growth. The largest pepper plants are these white bell peppers, and the plants that are in front of them are a variety of pimento pepper. And the smallest are these Carolina reaper pepper plants. So let's take a look at each of these plants so I can show you what you should be looking for. These Carolina reaper plants are about three inches tall, but it's not the height of the plant that determines if it needs to be potted up. The root system of this plant is still very fine, which is why the root ball is starting to crumble. You could wait to repot this until there's more root development, but it will not hurt the plant to do it now. What I'll be using to pot up this plant and the others is this premium potting mix with earthworm castings and mycorrhizal fungi, but any good quality potting mix is fine to use. I fill the pots a quarter of the way up, placing the plant on top and filling in the sides with the mix and then watering it well, being careful not to bury the stem. Although these containers I'm potting up into are not much wider than the cells of the containers the pepper plants were started in, they're much deeper, giving the plant much more room for the roots to grow. The next plant that I want to show you are these pimento pepper plants that are much taller than the Carolina reaper plants. The difference in height may make you think that the root system of the pimento plants are substantially more developed than the root system of the Carolina reaper plants. But as you can see, the root system of these larger plants is not much more developed than the system of the Carolina reapers. Now I'd like to show you the exception. The largest plants that I purchased from the nursery were these white bell pepper plants. As you can see, these plants are already starting to form flower buds. That indicated to me that these plants had become root bound and when I removed them to look at the root system I could see the roots had started to wrap around which is very bad for the health of the plant. But this problem can be fixed by very gently loosening up the roots. Just gently unwind the roots by pulling them apart, being careful not to rip them as much as possible. Sometimes you may have no choice but to buy plants that are root bound like these because they're all that are available at your local nursery or garden center but you don't have to pass on them because the problem can be fixed. They will recover from loosening the roots like this. You will see them start to recover and thrive with just a little care. So I'll pot them up in the same size pot as I'm using to pot up the other peppers. By the time their roots start to touch the bottom of the pot, it'll already be time to put them in the greenhouse or in the ground. The one thing that's important to do with peppers like this though is to remove the buds so the plant can put more energy in forming roots. I know many of you may be wondering if you should be fertilizing your young pepper plants after you've potted them up. If you know they'll still be in the pots for more than two weeks, I would fertilize them with a very diluted organic fertilizer. Because I know here in the Northeast, it'll be another three to four weeks before I can plant out these pepper plants, I will fertilize them in two weeks to give them a boost of nutrients before planting them in their final location. I hope you found the information in today's video helpful and I hope the information gives you the confidence to know what to look for when deciding if it's time to pot up your pepper plants.